In this video, I will uh, explain how to resolve issue with uh, RS Logics uh, 5000 software uh, asking for factory talk login while uh, accessing the uh, machine uh, via RDP using RDP interface. In this case, we have a session with the uh, remote computer. It's a virtual machine. Windows 7 uh, using RDP uh, protocol. If we attempt to run ArthLogix 5000, we get the factory talk login. And this is the reason uh, of uh, computer identity uh, of a remote user being used instead of a computer identity of this particular uh, box. So therefore, factory talk doesn't know the computer. How to uh, find out the user identity? If we go to user under task manager, we'll see that the client name here is uh, style uindns.biz. So that's the identity of, of the user currently accessing this uh, computer uh, using the RDP session. Uh, so what we need to do is to access the computer uh, instead of RDP using uh, uh, true console access. So in this case I will use the uh, VNC viewer which is uh, which is providing the true console uh, direct access to a, a remote computer or virtual machine in console. So let's log in. So obviously it will bump the uh, other session out. Uh, so we can do, we can check whose identity right now is used and we see there's basically no client name because it's going to be the identity uh, uh, the computer name of this particular computer. So then we go to uh, Factory Talk Administration Console uh, Network and in Computer and Groups uh, in Computers we add new computer which is going to be tall fully qualified uh, fully qualified domain name uh, is not required the, the uh, just a regular computer name is sufficient so okay now we can close the console uh, now i'm going to rdp to that uh, virtual machine using a uh, remote desktop so here's uh, again remote desktop session and now, again, we check that the identity is right now this. And now we can successfully log in to RS Logix. Uh, we can open RS Logix 5000 without any login. So that's how to resolve this issue. Thank you.